Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to adjust audio levels for different videos in Olive's free video editing software, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering just how to do that in this video. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. So two things we're going to do in this video, we're going to adjust the audio levels for this clip here, which is my intro video that I paid someone on Fiverr to make for me. And then another thing we're going to do is just walk through how easy it is to export the video itself. Now, you may want to turn your volume down a little bit because I'm going to be playing this and the original clip is a little bit loud, so I'm going to start that now. So as you can tell, it's a pretty loud clip overall and my speakers aren't turned up all the way either. So if you want to adjust the levels, you can click on the video itself once you've dragged it down here and you'll see we have the volume option here. So you can click and drag if you would like or you can simply click in here and type in a value. So if we type in negative 25, we'll go back to the beginning and we'll play it again. And you'll see it is much quieter this time. So effectively, once this clip, uh, you're really only adjusting it for this one clip. So if maybe you wanted the beginning to be loud, but the end to be quiet, then you could go right here and use this razor tool and split the clip in half. But basically when you're adjusting what we've just done, you've only adjusted it for the clip that you've selected or highlighted. And then if you want to actually export this or save this, you can go to file, export, and then here you can adjust a couple of different settings. Now for quality CRF, for me personally, I use 17. I found that this allows us to export in, um, you'll see right here how they say visually lossless. So basically the quality is very, very good. Um, the way that the quality factors work, at least from what I've seen, you can see if you kind of hover your mouse over it, it'll give you a breakdown. But if the number is too low, you'll see it'll say lossless. I haven't had the best <clears throat> success with that overall. Or if the number's too high, it'll be a lower quality video. So by choosing around 17, I've found that most of my videos that are screen recordings come out looking just like a standard high definition 1920 by 1080 resolution video. So that's what I've gone with. Um, but you can look into this more yourself if you're interested. And then you can adjust your frame rate, but I, I leave it as is. Once you click export, it'll bring up a save dialog where you can choose where on your device to save it. And then you just name it. And then you just wait for this to get to 100% this dialog will go away and the file will be in the new location. Don't forget if you're editing a lot of videos at once, try to keep all of those clips together so that you can save the project, which is different. So if you go to save project as, you're saving a project file instead of exporting it as a video like we were just doing. So I hope that was able to help you all. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.